The fifth thing I wanted to touch upon is uh, what I think Mr. Roja was talking about. E-governance and uh, you know other e-governance initiatives. Uh, Andhra Pradesh and now Telangana have been pioneers in e-governance initiatives. We've actually led from the front always, but off late we, I think we dropped the ball somewhere. But I think what needs to happen now is not just e-governance, now is the age of smartphones and cheap smartphones. Because now we have a proliferation of all these uh, Chinese manufacturers, we have a proliferation of uh, various Indian manufacturers as well. We have, uh, you know, Lava, Carbon, Celcon, Gioni, Xiaomi, there's so many of them which are producing smartphones at 3,000 rupees and 4,000 rupees and they all, ha they all actually are wonderful, as good as Apple or Samsung. So therefore, I think what needs to happen now is we shouldn't just think about e-governance, we should also start thinking aggressively about m-governance, mobile governance. We can't just be content with, uh, you know, the e-governance initiatives that we've launched. We, st we should start looking at mobile apps for each and every e-governance initiative that we have already in place and already uh, uh, in the works. So I think what we need to do as a strategy, a dual strategy is, because eventually we're going to get to a stage where everybody will have a mobile phone which is smart and therefore we should start ensuring that uh, people should be doing business not just uh, at, some, uh, at, a, at the doorstep of a e saver or a me saver center but right with the click of a button on their phone. So mobile governance and also one thing that uh, Mr. Oja mentioned and I think our department is already working on along with PR is e-panchayat. Through e-panchayats, uh, we want to create something that is much, much bigger and better than what is being done in Gujarat. We've seen what is being done in Gujarat, which is very, very basic. In Gujarat, they merely give you a few certificates, nothing more, nothing less. Um, in fact, what we have, uh, Mr. Oja, the vision that we have for e-panchayat in the state of Telangana is much more, the gamut is much more. What we would like to do ideally is create a one-stop shop because we are, we are probably one of the highest pension-paying uh, country uh, states in the country. We pay more than 4,000 crores of worth of uh, pensions every year. And each and every village, in fact, some of the villages get more than a few crores of rupees every month. So therefore, what we would like to do uh, is eventually get to a stage where this one-stop shop, so-called e-panchayat, will not only create village-level entrepreneurs, which we want to give uh, that, that mantle to a, a women entrepreneur in that village. We want to ensure that an educated uh, girl also gets employment, also gets, uh, you know, this also will have help in the process of women empowerment. Who will be in charge of e-panchayats and these e-panchayats will not just give you merely, will not just merely be an extension of Mi Seva Center or E-Seva Center. They'll do what Mi Seva and E-Seva Centers already do, which is provide citizen services, provide uh, the 360 or 300 plus citizen services that we offer. And going a few, my, few steps ahead, what we would also like to do is, we'd also want to combine, consolidate our pension payments, our Narega payments, uh, Mahatma Gandhi Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme payments through this one-stop shop.